One thing I noticed when I was doing my research online is that the folks at Everest make safety their number one priority. There is an easily accessible fire extinguisher, smoke detector, carbon monoxide detector, and LP gas detector, along with 12-inch electric brakes and breakaway cables. The drop frame construction provides extra room for larger holding tank capacities. The tank holds 68 gallons of fresh water. There's a 15,000 BTU air conditioner, and the entire coach has foam core duct work to distribute cool air throughout the interior, including the bedroom and the bathroom areas. The Everest also has a quick cool feature that allows the cool air to be distributed into the living area first. The Everest is truly an extended season coach and their 35,000 BTU furnace distributes warm air efficiently throughout the interior. The ducts are cleverly routed through the underbelly of the coach so the pipes don't freeze in cold weather. Both the air conditioner and furnace are controlled by a digital thermostat that's easy to access. The Everest underbelly is totally enclosed with a seamless sheet of fluted polypropylene and is fully heated through three separate two-inch heat ducts. This keeps the holding tanks and valves from freezing and protects them from road debris. The enclosed underbelly also increases the aerodynamics by reducing wind drag. When it comes to flooring, they use a 5 8 inch floor decking. This is an all-wood component that is treated with marine grade resin and laminated into several layers, so it's much more resistant to water damage than that less expensive plywood used by others in the industry. Plus it comes in 25 foot lengths, so it eliminates those squeaky floors and there aren't those unsightly seams you see every four feet. The flooring is so good, it has a multi-year warranty. At Everest, they use an R11 laminated fiberglass sidewall with unmatched strength and structural integrity. Most manufacturers build their coaches with hollow hung fiberglass walls. At Everest, they use solid block foam insulation, which reinforces the wall. They don't skimp on the Luan either. In fact, they double what the competition uses. The extra layers make the wall flatter and smoother while getting rid of those ugly stud lines that you find in other manufacturers. The roof is made with five inch snow load galvanized steel rafters. That makes it 200% stronger than the aluminum rafters that many other coaches use, and steel doesn't sweat or produce condensation. The steel rafters also have a C-channel design, which allows an R28 insulation in the roof to fill the channel of each truss. Everest also vented their attics just like you would vent your attic at home. They installed no sweat vents in both the front and the rear of every coach. A zero degree rated insulation package is standard on all of their coaches. They also doubled the insulation in the roof to R28 and tripled the insulation in the floor to an R30. Even the slide rooms are insulated with R14 Astrofoil insulation. Matter of fact, an independent study measured the Everest in a cold chamber for 48 hours and verified that the Everest is fully protected to four degrees below zero. Standard in all Everests is the Easy Flex heavy duty rubber suspension system. Easy Flex's resilient rubber core isolates and absorbs damaging road shocks before they are sent into the trailer's frame and contents. This results in a much smoother towing experience than traditional leaf spring suspensions. The oversized Dexter Easy Lube axles provide plenty of carrying capacity. And as the name implies, the axle hubs and rear bearings are easy to lubricate. There's no need to remove any wheels. I have to tell you, after touring that floor plan and looking at all of those features, I think I'm sold. That floor plan fits my lifestyle beautifully. Now, all you have to do is go to KeystoneRV.com and check out their floor plans, and I'm sure they'll have one that fits your lifestyle. Hey, before I leave, I just noticed on this model, look at this, a 32 inch LCD high definition TV and an outside entertainment center. Not only that, there's one also on the inside. And here's something I haven't seen before. A awning attached to the uh, slide. That's very unique. Leave it up to the folks at Everest to come up with something like that. Oh, hey, by the way, what do you think of the Everest floor plan? Absolutely fabulous. As a matter of fact, I'm going to talk to a salesman right now. Oh, I think you've made the right decision. You betcha.